بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم یو آر ٹو دا انڈسٹری آف فارمیسی کلاس ایز یو نو دیٹ وی آر ڈسکسنگ دی سیفٹی گائڈ لائنس ان دی فارمیسیوٹیکل انڈسٹری سو فار وی ہیو ڈسکس ویریس ٹائپس آف دی ہیزرڈ دی سورسز اینڈ پریونشن میتھڈ ٹو ٹیکل دا ہیزرڈ Today is the lecture number 26, entitled as Safety Guidelines in the Pharmaceutical Industries. The main objective of uh, today's topic is to learn about the safety guidelines in the pharmaceutical industry and uh, PPEs that is personal protective equipment that are used in the pharmaceutical industry to ensure the personal health and uh, safety. Dear students, after the uh, completion of this lecture, you will be able to know about the following topics. It is our target to know about the safety guidelines in the pharmaceutical industry as well as PPE that is personal protective equipment. Health and safety can be uh, difficult to maintain, especially in the premises and workplace and the pharmaceutical industries. But all employees or personnel working in the pharmaceutical industries are legally employed to maintain workplace safety standards and for that purpose, they are specially trained, uh, they are instructed to follow the standard operating procedure and uh, the safety standards to ensure the workplace safety and to maintain the health and safety. In the different sections and departments in the pharmaceutical industry, the personnel or workers are legally bound to follow the precautions and instructions so that they ensure their health and safety. I will tell you about the basic laboratory safety in this session of the lecture. In this part I will tell you about the basic laboratory safety that a person working in the pharmaceutical industry in the quality control lab or in the microbiology lab and what will be the different steps the person should follow to ensure workplace safety and all workplaces employees must be mindful when it comes to health and safety. Workers are also legally obliged to take additional precaution when it comes to working in the hazardous environment. In order to ensure uh, basic laboratory safety, especially in the quality control lab and the microbiology lab, our employees must comply with the following basic steps. Whatever the employees are, analyst, quality control manager, microbiologist, or any other relevant person working in that area, like the chemist, a pharmaceutical chemist, <coughs> They must comply with the following basic steps. Among these steps, the first step is to quickly clear a past pelages and maintain a tidy work area, clean area maintenance is necessary, mandatory to ensure basic laboratory safety and the person working over there should frequently 
apply here and and he should also be a laboratory Halep coat or a person whatever he or she should wear a laboratory coat it is not only the personal dignity a professional dignity for the person watching over there but also for the uh, safety purpose as well never smoke inside the laboratory smoking is uh, very much dangerous because it creates problems in the premises level container correctly to ensure the proper leveling as the correct material on the container where eye protection if necessary face protection not wear clothing that exposes the skin for example shorts clothing and t-shirts and uh, eating of food and drinks are not allowed in the, the body <coughs> regularly check that glassware is not cracked that all equipment is safe to use there is no problem if the maintenance is necessary they should be proper in ten to ensure the proper function of all the equipment and the corridor should be cleared in case of any emergency no rush in the corridors and no material to be kept in the corridors tie up long hair conduct rest assessment every day risk assessment the key aim of the management of health and safety at work regulation 1999 is to identify dangers and prevent people from being harmed at work this is regulated by the health and safety executive hc which monitors our workplaces to ensure that necessary assessments are carried out and the proper action should be taken and necessary action should be taken regarding the regulation of the health and safety executive under the regulations made by the uh, management of health and safety at work regulation 1999 or the regulations by any other relevant authority for the monitoring of our workplaces to ensure that necessary assessment is carried out in the pharmaceutical industry If uh, we visit the hsc.gov.uk website, we found on that particular website that is uh, Health and Safety Executive under the uh, Managing Risk and Risk Assessment at Work and overviewing that as an employer you are required by law to protect your employees and uh, other personal uh, relevant at the workplace from harm or danger or hazard under the management of health and safety at workplace regulation 1999 the minimum you must do is to first identify what could cause injury or illness in your business that is uh, what is the cause of the injury or illness or what are the different hazards uh, the identification of that hazard is very much mandatory essential that causing the injury or the safety problem 
and the second minimum a person should decide how likely likely it is that someone could be harmed and how seriously that means that uh, decide about the risk that what will be the risk and what will be the person uh, to someone that is the uh, harmed and how seriously the risk is and the third minimum requirement for a person is to take action to eliminate the hazard or if this is not possible to eliminate the hazard we should control the risk we should control the injury or control the harm and control the seriousness uh, that is the risk assessing risk is just one part of the overall process used to control risk in your workplace for most small low risk businesses the steps you need to take are straight forward and are explained and uh, the pages that is a health and safety risk assessment guidelines for loading and for weighing for weight these are the general guidelines you can see the fuming hood but these are general and we will focus on the industrial hazards the different types of the or topics on this website you can consult that is industries you can see agriculture air for transport on forces chemical industry and uh, we will manufacturing industries the plug on the manufacturing industry So these are the guidelines related to the health and executive safety. Apart from risk assessment uh, by using the health and safety executives and the uh, management of health and safety at workplace regulation, uh, the next part of this lecture that is PPE, personal protective equipment. Uh, basically pp that is uh, an equipment that is will protect the user or the personal against health or safety risk at workplace in the chat the workplace is the pharmaceutical industry it can include items such as safety helmet gloves eye protection high visibility clothing and uh, safety footwear uh, now you can see uh, in uh, this slide Uh, that is the PP example of the personal protective equipment like the head protection, hand face protection, hearing protection, respiratory protection, arm and hand protection, foot and leg protection, and uh, protective clothing. Uh, these are the example of the uh, personal protective equipment. 
as you can see they design pest protection a person working in the area that where that is worn for the iron pest protection uh, is a personal protective equipment iron pest protection is used to protect eyes from hazard and uh, that hazard may be from the uh, airborne particles liquid chemicals that may be the volatile liquids or any other liquid chemical water metal light radiation and uh, as well as dust now uh, there is different criteria for eye protection device are the personal protective equipment that is eye protection uh, but some of the points which must be considered and bear in mind while, select, while selecting the eye protection protect against specific hazard comfortable to wear there is no problem in wearing and it is easy to wear does not restrict vision or movement during the processing of the movement uh, restriction is done by using this uh, eye protection personal protective equipment then we should replace it with the uh, suitable one which does not restrict vision or movement it must be durable and easy to clean and disinfect for a long time working and easy to clean up and easy to disinfect and does not interfere with the function of other required PPE which are necessary at the premises. That's all about the today topic. Inshallah we will discuss this topic in the online Google Meet session.